Hey everybody, my name is Atli and I'm the writer-director for this short horror film called The Empty. The idea came from my experience when I was four years old and I fell into a swimming pool. I didn't know how to swim, um, so I panicked and no matter what I tried, I just sank deeper and deeper. It felt like forever and nobody seemed to notice, or so I thought. Luckily, my mom did notice and she came to the rescue. I was okay, but my mom still thinks about that day and what could have happened. So for this story, I really wanted to blend uh, this personal memory and the idea of a mother's guilt with some Lovecraftian elements. On set, I got a crew of five wonderful people and two amazing actors, plus one up and coming actor. We rented this beautiful swimming pool and shot from about 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. Any sound guy can tell you that indoor swimming pools are a nightmare. Luckily, we came prepared with two Rode wireless go systems with lavaliers, and it worked like a charm. But lavalier mics don't do much in water, so we used the uh, Rode NTG3 shotgun mic with the Rode Blimp and the Rode Boompole Pro as well. So in short, the sound was great. We had to add a ton of reverb in post because the audio was just too clean. For lighting, we rented the RE M18 and an RE 2K tungsten to beam through the windows. And the water ripple effect was done with an Aperture 120D Mark II with a cheap third-party Fresnel lens aimed straight into the pool. And then we used three Aperture Amaran lights for fill, close-ups, and all kinds of things. The camera we used was the Sony a7 III with three lenses, 24, 50, and 28 to 135 with motorized zoom. When our lead character jumps into the pool, we really wanted to be with her in the pool. It wasn't until a few hours before we started rolling that we got the idea of buying a fish tank. We just had to make sure it was clear plastic instead of glass, because if anything happens, you really don't want broken glass all over the place in a swimming pool. The beach scenes were shot a few days later in less than an hour with our young actor, who was very excited about building sandcastles. For post, we used the free version of DaVinci Resolve for edit and grade, and a little bit of After Effects work for the wall and cleanup and stuff. The sound edit and mix was done in Pro Tools, and the music was composed in Cubase. There were a lot of talented people surrounding this project, who were very generous with their time, so thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed the film and thanks for watching.